all right, all right, all right. It's this time of year again. Summer's out. Hat is on. Hood is on. <laughs> Probably at some point. Hey, good morning, Aski. Hey, Russell. Uh, how's it going? So this is um, uh, the old uh, line art thing I did. Uh, what I'm going to try today is to um, kind of I got to learn this this one thing that I don't really do well is the like super tight render like League of Legends style. So uh, today I'm going to be uh, practicing that and kind of trying to figure out how to do that render because I'm I'm doing it quite kind of painterly, right? So I want to, I want to try to analyze and study. I have one League of Legend on on, on that monitor um, painting. Uh, obviously, I don't want to copy. That's why I'm using my my previous drawing. Um, we'll see where that goes. Hey, Quentin. Georg Chilstrand Jacob Mobley. Mobler. I'm all I'm always thinking Jacob Mobley being English. With like steampunk gentleman. Alright. Um, so for this one I have just a line art separate. I'm gonna be focusing on the character. Um sep at the screen I have a Jason Chan painting. Um, not to copy, but to see how he deals with stuff. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be finished, uh, but I want to try to break the path, uh, break down the approach to teach myself. I don't know how they do it, hence that's why I'm not doing it. But uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, so notifications might not work if someone hits follows and so on. Um, FYI, the the thing is is bugged. Right. So I'm thinking what I gotta do is if I if I would hmm. yeah it would be the same. It actually should I should yes I should do. Like that. What I'm doing is that I want to have that terminator kind of. So let's use soft brush for now on absolutely everything. So by using a hue saturation correction layer, I don't need to resample everything. So I'm, I can just do that tone darker. I think. I think that is a good way to establish establish um, the relationship in the lights rather than the volume, uh, rather than the color. Having to focus on the color all the time. Erase maybe with a sharp brush. Yeah, I'm not really good at this tight rendering style, but gotta change that. Gotta improve. Gotta grow. Grow as an artist. Need to add another tool in the in the bag. Hey, Henrik. Zealin. Good morning. Uh, Jacob Mobley, what do you mean? The hue and saturation thing? Correction layer? It's really useful. You can get stuff done really, really fast, which is great. And I was looking at the aliens. I have them. I have them cropped out, the space pirates. 
but the, the rhythm of the shadow groups are so bad. It's like the whole image is broken at that part of the picture. If I would have done an illustration like proper, uh, you know, sit and, and do do the illustration, I would have changed that immediately. <laughs> and like, yeah, yeah, so did I, but you know, you gotta do it. Chilson, yeah, you gotta, I think, it's, I think it's really important that you try. I did um, a nice little soft smudge brush yesterday, uh, the other day, to show a guy at work. He all obviously he already knew it, uh, but the the smudge brush is is not a smear, but uh, just uh, you can soften brush marks up a lot because it samples in circles rather than samples um, by dragging the pixel. Right, so let's finish that. I think with all these like League of Legends style paintings for for this for so everyone knows I'm using this one as a uh, like trying to to think about how to approach it's a lot of color dodge a lot of overlay um, so I'm, I'm looking at that one just in general to to kind of get a grasp of the the style And uh, I think I'm thinking of like at what point should you add the contrast? I mean, obviously, the contrast should be now. Now, if I switch that off, you see that there there isn't a lot of contrast. See, so place the. Place the basic wash, ambient occlusion should come as well. Set so contrast to luminosity, higher contrast. Okay, then let's add, let's add, um, you see, he has like super clean groups. I'm quite sure that. He puts all the colors down, like, like I've done with, with um, um, what's her face, same as, and they're just, yeah, you can really see the selections, like super clean selections around every shape of the gun. Hey, Captain Bowles, here you can see, you can see like super crisp edges and everything. And that probably means that he has every color separate, which I don't have, which is going to be working against me. But um, let's see, let's see. Texture, there's a lot of texture in where the light hits the. Okay, so let's, let's dodge, let's dodge the light. Let's try to add volume in the light. Yeah. Actually, that should be removed. Okay, so that's not good. I'm way too heavy handed. I use that smudge. Should really think. Um, how do you, you could do the same? Actually, you could do a correction layer, uh, set it to color dodge, and paint the mask. 
because now because now I need to remember this color I used uh, to use as light for if I would change color now to 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 paint another section it, I would need to remember it Chillstrand. Um, no, I, I mean more like I'm. Yes, in a way, the pen pressure. But it, it, it just means I'm too. I do too much. Like, I should be more careful. But it's more like just shotgun. Like running through everything and, and blasting. I wonder at what stage does he add like the beauty stuff? Like now I'm 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 kind of adding behavior to the metal, right? So that means also you should start adding um, actually let's reduce that. Uh, should start adding um, like bounce lights and stuff, right? To to make ensure. See now this is where selections are important, so that I can work within each shape without having to worry about uh, going into another gradient. And so on. Uh, but I don't have it, so it's going to be a bit messy. But I'm quite sure that people doing art like for for League of Legends and in, in that art style, um, they don't have as heavy pen pressure as I have, for sure. I mean, when I put the gradient. Or, or a soft brush is just that's like <laughs> I'm throwing it at throwing it at the canvas rather than gently manipulating the gradient. Style of the smoke on the on the right one or or mine. I think both are interesting. If I may say so myself. Right, so we're starting to get a little bit of behavior here. Obviously, like I, I, I prefixed the gradients um, are a bit messy. I have only 30 minutes and I'm quite sure that uh, League of Legend illustration doesn't just take 30 minutes. Um, So I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to separate the light further by, by pushing the lit areas. And at some point I got to start adding, like what's always apparent in their illustrations is that as, they, as you should, they're using uh, ambient light to lit things in shadow uh, so the illustration doesn't go towards black um, you know like black shadows that, that classic mistake a lot of people do um, when they paint is that they use black to go to indicate that this object is in shadow right um, and that's something the League of Legend people artists don't do. So that's something I got to keep in mind as well. So let's see, let's see. He is using a color dodge to push the metal on all sides. Okay. 
also goes dark. Yeah. Right. Let's do another color dodge. And let's let's um, start playing with this edge work. Would that be lit? Probably would be lit a little bit. It would probably catch some of that light. Hey, Trixis! How's everyone? Er, how's everything doing over there? I'm doing an experiment today, Trixis. Um, I'm kind of educating myself a little bit in a style that I'm not very comfortable in. Um, uh, I'm, and I'm doing it <laughs> in a stupid time frame uh, for only 30 minutes. But it's for the purpose of learning. So Trinxis, are you gonna gonna come back to Europe at some point? Or are you happy over there? Let's see if I switch that off. Hmm. Okay, so uh, I should I shouldn't have jumped the gun with those those details, but let's that is done. Let's how can I add Okay, for the sake of sanity, I'm gonna start doing ambient occlusion. Some lighting everything up. Okay, that layer is empty. I'm gonna do set it to multiply probably. Do a ambient occlusion pass like trying to can understand the shadows here because uh, I'm not sure really I understand them And I'm really, really handicapped by not having selection groups. Like, if I would have organized by color or, or something so that I could easily ma maintain the edge. Because now I have to like, go in and, and manually like keep a, t a tight edge for the, for for the sake of the experiment, and it's going to be more and more complicated if I start erasing into gradients that uh, that already exist. That's the downside of not having uh, selection groups because content constant ma maintenance, you know. That's cool, Trinxis. Well, you're welcome back. Hey, Chili Strumpan, how's it going? Welcome to Friday, where I will be, where I'm today. I am doing some education, educational stuff. All right, yeah, yeah, all right. I can see that. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Just general ambient occlusion shadow pass type deal. Okay. That butt. <laughs> Clinch that butt, Samus. Point. So 
So uh, Chile still thought, as you uh, you're new, just joined rather rather than you. Um, I'm trying to educate myself in a style I'm not very comfortable in, which is the you know super tight splash art style because I'm very like I mentioned, uh, very heavy-handed, and I'm very, you know, I do a lot with one brush mark, and it's quite painterly. Um, so that's something I got to practice on, and obviously, trying to do that in 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 thirty minutes is a, you know, shooting myself in the foot, uh, but. It's the th it's the thought that counts. <laughs> it's the idea of trying to figure out how to do it that is going to start a process in my mind. I'm quite sure of how to actually do it, and I'll whatever happens today is going to be a process where I sit and think when I'm not painting it this way. Like how to start, how to approach it, you know. As you probably noticed, uh, other people uh, at the beginning, I wasn't actually painting a lot. I was actually sitting and thinking and planning um, what the steps would be. And I think it's a very important thing when you're switching uh, styles in your comfort zone, is that. Um, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta know when to fold them. <laughs> know when to fold them. What was that Western song? Came into my mind. Um, anyways, <laughs> you gotta learn when to um, when to. You have to take a step back from your uh, initial. Like gut reaction, comfort zone path, and 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 rationalize what would be the best route to take to get the result uh, that you need. Right. So it's not easy. I guess that's why it's called a learning. <laughs> We're all beginners at some point. No need to sweat it, man. What's important is that you start your journey of uh, self-improvement and and, uh, and teaching yourself to learn while having fun. I mean, now I'm doing a study of riot splash art. Uh, I'm looking at their image a little bit now and then just to try to reverse engineer what they've been doing. I'm not trying to copy that image at all. I'm studying their process rather than their painting, like to, to paint their painting. So that's, I think, is a really important thing about uh, doing studies and learning is that you really need to be having fun and I am having fun all right two-thirds done of the warm-up we're getting somewhere when it comes when it comes to render um, obviously I would have loved to spend more time really perfecting the ambient occlusion but uh, I think that this might be their process. I mean, obviously, they have to map out the light, right? They also have have to have a clean line art, everything drawn up, um, everything on layers, because all the animations, uh, all the images are animated. And in that return, you get um, you get uh, selection groups. So 
So I'm I'm kind of kind of working up, you know, what, what's it called? Wind in my face. <laughs> Uphill battle. Uphill battle maybe is the better. Jacob Mobley, yeah, they're they're great artists over there. Uh, I don't know if I don't think Mesa Black is what it is anymore. I think uh, Justin Kaufman is still working at um, Massive Black. I don't I don't think any the company is that big anymore, if I'm not mistaken. I think a lot of artists have moved on and they scaled scaled back. As far as I know, but uh, Justin, he's a he's a killer. He's a great artist. So this could have easily been done with a correction layer as well, because now when I switch it on, it's going to be go towards black, and that's probably not what I want, but it'll have to do for now. Hey, beer bros, it's getting cold. Summer's out. Leaves are getting orange. All the leaves are falling down. Flat is getting colder. Uh, yeah, Justin uh, those old paintings are sick super talented cool guy, I met him quite a few times actually alright enough with the ambient occlusion pass So, as I su suspected, black, not very good. So, let's have it a little bit warmer. Okay. So, I'll, sh I'll, I'll pop it over here so you can see what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this little uh, section of their painting and looking at the, the texture work. And you can see it's a clean lasso tool. You see that edge going around? Very clean. And you can see the edge of the barrel. Everything is super clean and cut out. You can see it. And that's typical. You can see the edge as well. Everything is lassoed into groups. And then we look at mine. There's no groups <laughs> whatsoever. Let's switch off that layer. But you can see there where the the blocking of the colors from earlier has a clean edge. We can start seeing the like the result, potential result that could come with with um, cleaner edges. So let's let's uh, take. And uh, let's try to figure out some texture stuff. I really need the, a better texture brush, I think, um, to get those nice and dirty uh, textures in. But let's go with a chalk brush. Uh, and kind of let's start adding a little bit of texture information in the where where the gradient breaks towards the terminator, maybe. Then, actually, let's make um, 
what could that be? That could be. We need to brighten that side. So maybe a screen. Let's see what that does. A screen. Mm. Yeah, could work. Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, thank you, Bear Rose. Yeah, the perspective is fun. Right, so let's set it on on on, on screen, a blue tone, and let's see what happens when we oh yeah. Alright, that works. That works exactly like we need it to work. Alright, so we can go in and uh, and uh, adding a little bit of behavior of this yeah material. With the screen, probably need to knock it back a bit. But uh, for now, as I, the time is running out, uh, I'm just going to experiment a little bit and uh, see what kind of textures I can. Obviously, I need to up the resolution twice the size of of it in order to get that kind of. Actually, screen might not be good. Maybe actually, I might need to uh, use a uh, color dodge just to get the the big picture gradient like lock, locked in better. Hmm. But yeah, I can definitely see this approach working. What you just got to do is make sure to have selection groups. Don't jump into the render too fast. And also, don't spend too much time rendering everything. Like, use soft brush to capture all the big shapes and then like a texture brush to go in and add like these finer detail uh, differences and, and, and to break the gradient where it needs to be broken and so on. I guess it is working. I can see this working, this process working. Um, okay, lesson learned, I think. Yeah. Then of course color dodge on top, all the the beauty pass, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah, I can see. I can see this working. Right? Andrea is cold. Is getting chilly in the flat. So riot process I think it's pretty pretty figured out of a good way to do it I would say Something like that. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Princess. Hey, tongue tacos. <laughs> tongue tacos. That's a weird nickname. Uh, right. Hey, Jeet sixty five. Thanks for the follow. All right. So warm up is uh, is finished. Thanks for hanging out. Um, 
for a 30 minute study, um, kind of process study rather. Um, So now, and now I'd, I'd, I'd say I'm, I'm quite equipped at testing this process up properly. I need to go in and have clean selection groups, um, all these things. But it's not, I know now how to deal with my heavy hand and how to work the gradients well before going into details, having a clear shadow groups, uh, like the work I did before. And uh, I think separating it into ambient occlusion passes and, and, and so All on. Right. Hey, Grubby Paws, thanks for the follow. We will rocky run all day long. Like schoolgirls of the beach. <laughs> That's a All weird right. scene. Hey, mid break, thanks for the follow. Anyways, have a fantastic weekend, everyone. Um, I will do on Sunday, actually. I will do a special stream at 8 p.m. UK time or Saturday, I don't know yet. Sunday, I will do Sunday, uh, 8 p.m. in the evening UK time, uh, where I will be going, uh, going through my sketchbooks. Uh, I will mount the camera down as so you can see the pages. I will have a group chat on Discord and whoever want to hang out can join in and talk talk some shit. Um, and I will also go through the two week challenge entries. Uh, and Captain Balls, every stream every day is archived on YouTube. You just need to go to YouTube and it's there. It's uploaded in within five minutes. Five, ten minutes and it's on the internet. As I as soon as I end the stream. I start to upload. Uh, right. Have a good one, everyone, and see you uh, Sunday at 8 p.m. UK time or Monday morning if you don't come on Sunday. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye.